and developing at 430, we are learning more about what went wrong in Orlo Vista when two retention ponds swelled with water during Hurricane Irma. Numerous homes were flooded and today Orange County officials said Irma dumped more water than their system could handle. News 6's Matt Petrillo is live in Orla Vista now. And Matt, did Orange County crews do anything to anticipate the flooding there? Well, we talked to the Stormwater Management Division, which says it uh, pumped this pond plus another pond over here in Orla Vista, but even that was not enough to prevent flooding. Today, crews from Orange County's Waste Division are cleaning up the couches and chairs and other debris damaged from Hurricane Irma from more than a week ago. A uh, bed, dresser, chester, TV, washer, dryer, a lot of miscellaneous. Annie Hemingway of Orla Vista had to throw away much of what was inside her house. Today, she was still cleaning up, talking to us through her window. It's a long process. It's a long process. She remembers water from two retention ponds flooding so many streets and homes inside Westside Manor. In fact, the National Guard was called to rescue 55 of her neighbors, plus several pets. Still, she stayed behind with her husband. We were praying. We figured God had us. Today, Orange County told News 6 its crews did everything they could with the ponds, pumping them to their lowest possible levels before Irma and continuously pumping them during and after the storm. But the amount of rain left was too much. Frank Petit also stayed during the storm. His home security system captured the flooding that went right up to his house. It's much different outside of Petit's home today. Next time, though, he says he'll make sure to evacuate. I can't stay. I'm I really scared at night. But next time I will go. And we talked to a county commissioner whose district includes Orla Vista asking what the county learned from Irma. We have that part of the story tonight on News 6 at 6. Ginger. Matt Petrillo, thank you.